गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज अर्णवी मित्रा एंड आई एम अ पावर प्रोग्रामर एट इंफोसिस सो आई जनरली मेक वीडियोस ऑन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर कोडिंग एग्जाम्स एंड हाउ टू क्लियर द कोडिंग इंटरव्यूज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग द सेकंड दिस इज माय सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट इज प्रीवियसली आस्क in the power programmer assessment so if you haven't watched my first video where i discuss uh, the first question uh, i would recommend you to go and check my uh, first video and then you can come uh, for the second uh, video so uh, in the previous one i discuss one uh, index based uh, index based question and here uh, this question today i will be explaining this is a question on stream and this question was asked as a easy question in the power programmer assessment so uh, let's see the question it's saying find lowest possible string after unlimited swapping with a given condition and then return the sum of s of i into i for all i so basically uh, we will be given one string and uh, we can swap any two number with a given condition and after swapping for unlimited time we need to find the lowest possible string so we just need the lowest uh, lowest possible string and to get that we can swap any number of time we have no restrictions and but there is one condition that is you can swap any two characters for any number of time but to swap one of them must be odd so one of the character must be odd to swap any two character now what is odd and even how will we distinguish uh, it's saying the numbering of the characters are like this a is mapped to 1 b is mapped to 2 z is mapped to 26 that means a is an odd character c is a odd character e is odd character but uh, b z uh, d these are even characters so i can swap a and b but i can't uh, swap b and d because both are uh, even only and uh, our target is to uh, make the string as low as possible and then i need to return the sum of s of i into i and s of i meaning the value this value of uh, for example if a is in the uh, zeroth position so i will uh, so uh, i uh, i will calculate 1 into 0 now b is in the second position so it will be 2 into 1 and we have constants as uh, value of n can be within 10 to the power 5 and all the characters are in upper case so let's uh, check some example so here we have we are given b a e and let's see if we can make it uh, low so if we swap this b present as zeroth position with the a at first position so it will become a b e so we can we have sorted the string uh, actually by swapping only two value we have got the sorted string with uh, minimum at left and maximum at right and this is the lowest possible string and then after we perform that function like value of a is 1 it is at zeroth position so a into 0 plus b is 2 2 into 1 and value of e is 5 5 into 2 so it's giving 12 so uh, we will return 12 now in the second case we can see uh, f h b d all are even numbers only uh, value of f is uh, 6 value of h is 8 value of b is 2 and value of d is 4 all are even numbers only so we can't do any kind of swap so we can't uh, make this uh, string uh, low we need to return is as it is so we will evaluate its value and it's giving us 24 so let's uh, move ahead and see uh, what we can do and how how we can find is there any uh, trick we can apply or not so let's go to the next slide so uh, 
just some observations suppose we have b d a we can make it b a d so basically uh, we need to sort it and we need a at first position b at second position and b at uh, last position so if we swap b a and d uh, then d will be at the last position and d is position is fixed then we can swap a and b we can also do uh, something uh, different like we can at first swap a with b uh, then it will be a b d let me write here so it will be a b d then we can uh, uh, swap uh, a with d again uh, uh, a with d so it will become uh, d b a and uh, then we can uh, swap a and d uh, no a and d is uh, sorry uh, just a second uh, i wrong yeah if we swap a with b it will be a d b then we can swap a and d it will be d a b then we can swap a and b it will be like that we can uh, swap a and d it will be a b d so with the three swaps we are getting a b d and here with only uh, two swaps we are getting but it doesn't matter because anyway uh, we can swap unlimited times and there is no restriction on us how many times we can swap now see this example c j h f d and now c is odd one uh, H is uh, even, F is even, B is even, even J is even, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Yeah, J is the 10th one, so J is also even. So, we have only one odd character and we can swap each and every character with C only. So, let's, uh, so I have just swapped it with J at first. Then I have swapped it with D and uh, here and then again swapped with G and G's, J will be the last one. So, its position is fixed. Then I swap C with the F. Again, I swap uh, value of C with H. And then I swap uh, C uh, with F. I have written F here. Actually, it should be C. Yeah. So, I can, we can see only using C, we have did all these swaps. Now, let's check another example. Here, we have two odd numbers E and E. Uh, a, sorry, we have all the odd numbers E, A, C and we can <coughs> swap any two numbers. So, I uh, just uh, swap E and A then uh, swap C and E. So, did, did you notice any pattern? Uh, just think of it. Uh, I will move to the next slide where I have mentioned what is the pattern. Uh, if there is only one odd character, we can use that to swap each and every character and we can find the sorted uh, string so suppose we have <coughs> we need to sort two elements present at i -th and j -th. we can swap them if there is a odd character present at k -th index so i can swap s of i with s of k then uh, s of i with s of j and s of j with s of k so basically i -th element and j -th element will be swapped uh, like I have done in the example here. I just wanted uh, D. Uh, just a second. Let me, yeah. Here I just wanted J to be here. So and D to be here. D to be in the second place and J to be at the last place. So I just swap C with J at first. Then I swap C with D. Then again I swap C with J. Now D is in the second place and J is at last. So like this, if we have only one odd element, we can sort it. So now uh, the question is easier. We don't need to think and go for each and everything or uh, uh, try swapping all the possible thing and find the lowest. Uh, we just need to find odd character present there or not. If odd character present there, 
then we can simply sort the string and print the value and if not then we have nothing to do we will simply print the value so this is uh, the uh, answer we will uh, run a loop and check if only one single character is present or no if yes then i can sort the string and otherwise uh, yeah and then uh, if not it, it will be stay as it is and i will return the sum now let's check the constants here we are given 10 to the power 5 that means we can go for a n log n solution because sorting will take n log n now uh, if you don't know like how to check the constants and decide what should be our approach then you can check my video where i have explained how only checking the constraint we can decide uh, what should be our approach like whenever uh, we can see that 10 to the power 5 is there that means we can go for a uh, n log n approach that means we can use sorting and uh, there are many hints like they, it's saying we need to find the lowest possible string they are giving constraints as any uh, 10 to the power 5, uh, five then uh, we can always go for sorting but uh, there is only one uh, like condition to swap any two character we need uh, one of them must be odd and uh, that will be happen if there is uh, one single odd character now I will move to the coding part I have here uh, uh, written uh, uh, I have uh, implemented the code here so I will just go one by one so here I have uh, written the find value function. It will only uh, just uh, subtract the ASCII value of capital A and plus 1 because uh, any uppercase character has one ASCII value and uh, cap this character capital A has ASCII value of 65. So for example if the value, uh, character is A. So it will, uh, it will be like 65 minus 65 plus 1. That is 1. For B, it will be 66 minus 65 plus 1, 2. So, we want it. So, this is the find value function. Then we have, I have implemented one check function uh, that will uh, just uh, find its value. If uh, it's odd, then it will quickly return true. Otherwise, at last end of the end, it will return false. Now, I have uh, written the evaluation function. It will take a string. Uh, it, if it's uh, returning true, the checking, that means we can go for a sorting. Otherwise, we can't. Now, I have taken one value variable where I will be summing up all these things. Now, I have just printed uh, this uh, string to uh, check if it's so sorting or not. So, so that when I will print the output, it will be easier for us to focus. Now, why in the loop also, I have just printed I... Uh, what is this value the characters and it's just multiplying the index with the value and returning the value so i will just quickly run some of the uh, test cases so first one we had uh, here that was bae and it should return uh, 12 let's see bae what it returns Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't call the function, eval function. Let's quickly run for it. So, it has odd characters, so it, uh, it is sorted, that is fine. And uh, we are getting like this. 0 index will be multiplied with 1, 1 with 2 and 2 with 5. So 5 into 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. So we are getting our desired output. Now we had another one. FHBD. FHBD I will uh, quickly write here and try to run. So it's giving 24. Let's try with another with some more. ABD we had. So let's write B A D. Let's see if it's sorted order giving in sorted order or not. Yeah, it is sorted and it's giving 10. That is also fine. 4 into 2 plus 2. 10. Let's try with some uh, more. C C J H. 
so it should be giving p h j yeah it given p h j now 8 8 plus 2 into 10 28 so it's giving 28 so this is the uh, this is the way i have implemented now uh, i have sorted it but uh, we could have used another method without sorting we could uh, use some extra space and we could solve it in order of n time so i would uh, ask you to think of that solution and please let me know in the comment section what will be your approach to solve it and if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want this code i will put a uh, screenshot of the code in the telegram group and you can also find the description of the telegram group from and you can join there you can find all the updates related my videos and all the things i share with my team so thank you